So uh, I recently bought the Kinesis Advantage 360 ergonomic keyboard. And so I wanted to unbox it on stream. I've never done an unboxing video before, so we'll see how it goes. So this is the one I got. I got the um, the Smart Set. Smart Set, I believe, is what it's called. And uh, I have the palm pads, but they're not here yet. So I'm just kind of waiting on those. Uh, so I think there's two options here. You can get the Smart Set or the ZMK models. And I like the the smart programming thing on the uh, the Advantage 2, which I'm currently using. And so I thought I would just keep going with that. Uh, I've never done the ZMK thing, so I just avoided that. Uh, I, not for any particular reason. Like, I don't really know that much about ZMK. So uh, that's what I got. And I'm pretty sure that I have, uh, well, it looks like they only come with one standard switch from the mass drop. I think that they're setting up like... Um, they're setting up another system. I can't remember if it's through Drop or something else. Uh, I remember reading on the Kinesis Twitter about this. So uh, you can go check that out if you are interested in different ones. But I have no idea when the, the other ones are going to be available. So that's basically that. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Advantage 2. Uh, I've been using this one for probably about a year now, and I love it. It's kind of helped me a ton with my wrist pain. Uh, like I was doing, I definitely had some like RSI issues uh, that I was working through and uh, this helped a lot. But as you can see, like when I'm using it, I'm still kind of like really tight against my body. I'm not super relaxed. And like, I feel like I could probably turn a bit and move out and I would be a lot more comfortable. So I've kind of been looking for the the split in half version of this keyboard for a while or something like it. Uh, I find that the the um, concavity in the keycap in the in the keyboard itself is incredibly helpful uh, for uh, typing and just my like I don't have very big hands so uh, it, it's very helpful. Okay, cool. So that's like what I have now, and then let's start opening this thing up. I literally waited until we started to do that. And here's the here's the big box. Uh, not super fancy, no big deal. Uh, it doesn't need to be fancy. The only thing that matters is what's inside. Okay, so here we go. Uh, little quick start guide, no big deal. Uh, it's probably just gonna tell us like what it can do and how to move around it. Uh, I think like usually they have uh, so I, I did see on here before that they have like this new smart set app where you can like program your uh, keyboard directly with some GUI thing, but it says uh, Mac and Windows only. So maybe we'll see if we can figure out how to get it to run on Linux. I don't know if we'll be able to. And then uh, this thing. So let's start here. Uh, accessories. I'm guessing this is going to be um, some extra keycaps to like customize it. Uh, depending on what, like, if you're on Apple or, or Windows, we are not, so no big deal. Uh, we have main cable. It tells you it's main cable. Cool. Uh, link cable. Easy. And then this has got to be that, the, like, connector. So there's a mechanism to keep it uh, fixed together with the this connector um, instead, of, instead of having it fully floating. So we'll see if we need that. Um, we might start using it that way and then hopefully split uh, a little bit further. Okay, let me, I just need to move this a little bit. All right, here we go. Get that side out, this side out, and then we'll get the box off the table. There's a QR code here for setup tips. As if we would read that, silly. Absolutely silly. Okay, uh, keep away from small children. Sure, that's probably a good idea. All right, so here's one side, uh, left side. Uh, pretty. Let's see. Very quiet. You can probably barely hear the clicking, but... Uh, for what it's worth, like I don't, I don't actually care about the clicks at all. Uh, how do I adjust this thing?
Maybe I should read the quick start guide. Because this is like not the tenting you're looking for. So this is kind of weird to me. This is going to tent up. But I don't. I'm confused. Why would I ever want it that way? It seemed to just click before, so. Okay, anyway, we'll look at that in a second. But, um, you certainly don't want it tented this way. So either I'm like a, a maniac or, uh, I just don't know how to adjust it, which is probably more likely. So we'll adjust that here in a second. And then we'll just pop this side open. Okay. Oh, actually, it is backwards. Duh. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I said this was the wrong side, basically. Uh, other, It makes way more sense if you do it this way. So uh, let's see how this compares to the other keyboard. One second. Uh, we may have to do some adjustments here because uh, I can't really see. So we have... Um, Space enter, same. Page up, down, same. Uh, these two buttons are switch on my keyboard, uh, but like they don't have to be. Uh, so I have the command key on this finger. I know it's hard to see, like I'm not zoomed in super well, but I'm just giving you an idea. So this one's a little different. Uh, Alt and control, pretty close to the same. I think I only have one control key on my keyboard, which is uh, on my kinesis here. Uh, everything I have two command keys because I tend to use that more. Uh, and then there's like this whole new row here, which is I, like uh, for switching uh, modes. And there's uh, some different like uh, key presses here. And then uh, we have like a few. It's pretty much the same. Just checking. Yep, it's pretty much the same uh, setup on this side. No different I, as far as I can tell. Um, on this side, there's a f one main difference is a caps locks key is here and, oh, okay. That's like a duplicate key. That's fine. I, I don't think I ever use that one anyway. So, uh, on the kinesis here, I have like a, a backslash key and a, a vertical pipe, but that's a caps locks on this keyboard. And then the escape is like literally your caps locks or where you a lot of keyboards caps locks keys are which i automatically have uh adjusted anyway so that's good and then a uh, tab is different although i oh no it's not it's about the same it's a little further away and that's a little further away so i, I feel like this feels a tiny bit bigger maybe it's hard to say. Um, I can't give you like an exact how, how how much different is it. I'm not actually sure. Let me okay, cool. So let's uh, plug this thing in. Start typing on it. Okay, so we got like a pretty nice braided cable here. Uh, like it feels nice. It's got you know it's got its little little uh organizing strap here so i assume we probably should plug in the link cable first so here's the link cable again like this nice kind of braided cable feeling i would hope that it feels premium considering how much i paid for it uh, okay which one goes maybe it doesn't matter i'm not so there's um Two connect USB C connectors on each side. I don't know which one I'm supposed to plug into what. Uh, if you just look at the picture, it shows you. So I don't think it matters which one you plug in as long as the link cable's on the inside. It looks like we can test that. Okay. Uh, I think I would rather it be on this side if I'm honest. Okay, and then we shall. Plug it in. Uh, 
Uh, there's no indication that it has been plugged in, as far as I can tell. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's plugged in. Okay, it is not. So what's going on? Um, maybe it does matter which side it's plugged into. Okay, so uh, keyboard works now, and uh, okay, so let's uh, I don't know, let's just uh, let's try and change a key maybe, because there should be a key puller in here, because I I do want to switch a few things, uh, like immediately. So let's see how that goes. So, uh, I don't need an option key. I don't need a mod key. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Don't need that. Control? No. It's a cool control key, though. Don't need that. Okay, maybe we want to switch this. Well, that's just a blank one. Blank one wouldn't be bad. There's another command key. All right, we got some blanks. I don't know what this KP thing does yet. So there's these these keys that say KP on them. Unsure what those are for yet. All right, so they give you four blank keys, uh, two command keys, a uh, interesting looking control key. I don't think I've seen a key like that before. Kind of cool, actually. Uh, an option key for Mac, uh, mod, alt, escape. So I'm literally going to set this thing up exactly the same as my other keyboard because that's just like, like I'm going to minimize the amount of things I have to learn how to do uh, for reasons. So to do that, we need to get this out of here. So I, I don't use a Windows computer, I guess. So we'll move that. And then uh, this control key is going to move over. Uh, we'll put the cool control key on there, I guess. I don't yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. So we'll put this guy there. Put this guy there. And I think these are... Uh, command. Okay, let me grab this. And put this one here. Oops. There it goes. Okay. Sweet. And that that's basically it. So that's all I really wanted to do for that. And now let's uh let's start like typing on it. Okay, so new camera angle. Who dis? Uh I'm gonna try and do it from this angle for for now. We'll see how it goes. All right, so uh, let's think this. Okay, so so far, this feels really nice. This feels really nice and natural to type on. Uh, and I have it like fully tented, and it's kind of actually sitting pretty awkward in my desk at the moment because I don't have a good setup to set it apart. So uh, feels really good uh, so far. I think there's probably some changes we need to make. So um, the first one that I usually make is that uh, as a Vim person, I use J and K to go up and down. But the up and down arrows on uh, on the keyboard are backwards from the order. So it's confusing to switch between uh, like J above the... Uh, up arrow, right? J goes down, but the arrow goes up. So it's much more natural if they go the same way. So um, the reason I'm saying that is I want to like try and change that key and see how it goes with the new smart system. So let me read this for a second here. Uh, by the way, in this, ah, okay. So the other port, this port on the left side of the keyboard is for the foot pedal. So I, I've never used a foot pedal. 
but uh, that's the foot pedal port. So those are both accessory ports. So the power cable goes on the right side. Interesting. Okay. Um, yep. Bridge connector. We have high tent at the moment. Uh, there's a bunch of different colors for stuff. I don't have the palm pads, which we talked about. Um, okay, so there are three layers. So the base layer, um, whatever is on the top of the keycap, uh, the KP key on the left module to access the KP layer and tap it again to return to the base layer. KP layer actions are legended, legended on the lower right corner of the keycap. Okay, so um, if you want to get a numpad, for example, you can go KP and then you get a numpad on the right, the right side. I actually never used that on the other one because of kind of how much of a pain it was to switch. So not pain, but it, it took me longer to switch and use the key keypad than it, it was worth, in my opinion. So I think that would be nice to just have like, you press one button on the keyboard and then you get like your numpad or whatever. Uh, the function layer is uh, temporary access and uh, they're legend on the left corner, lower left corner. Okay, cool. So if we want to switch profiles, we'll switch profiles to the zeroth one, I guess. I also want to do the uh, V drive thing, maybe. Although I don't really want to, their their setup is kind of confusing. Yeah, yeah. The actually the foot pedals look kind of interesting. I I've never thought about trying them out, but they do look interesting. Okay, so we need to first switch to a different profile. So there's a button here, and we can do. Um, I would guess that the the zeroth one profile zero is non-programmable perfect okay how do i know i'm in one there's a that's white okay uh i'm just like looking at the colors okay that's called white so what does blue look like I'm just like looking at this. Okay, anyway, uh, let's keep going. So I want to remap these keys the other way. So I'm going to do uh, probably remap, which is uh, there's no indication that I'm in remap mode. Is that true? Oh, I have to, okay. So to remap, I have to press two buttons. So I have to press this button and this button. And now you can see like it's obvious that we're, well, you can't see it. So let me move this up. Do you see the flashing light? Probably a little hard to see on the my camera because I don't have a great camera. But we have a flashing light. So I'm going to make, I think what you do is you press, let's see here. Press and hold. First select the source key, the action you want to copy. Then select the physical destination key. So I just want to flip these. So I'm going to press this and that. And then I'm going to remap again. So remap this to that. And now um, this should be down and this should be up. Nice. So again, this is to match J and K. So these behave exactly the same now, uh, which is convenient. Okay. Uh, next thing, we need to switch these two keys because uh, that's just, I, I don't know. I use the inner ones as control and alt, and the, sorry, the inner ones as control and alt, and the outer ones as command. I think this one is already command. I, I'm not sure what this button is doing, actually. I think this is a control button. Uh... Unfortunately, I already forget. Okay, so let's let's switch these keys next. So we do uh da, nope, that's the wrong one. And, okay, I'm not in the KP. So this. Okay. Okay. So that should be my command key now, and it is because you can see this thing opening. 
Uh, and then let's do like, uh, where's the tilde? Oh, here it is. So control tilde. Nope. Oh, that's a shift, not a control. Uh, no wonder. I'm doing control like it's a shift button for some reason. I don't know. Apparently I need more coffee. Oh, look at that. Okay, I did have more coffee. Nice. Um, so what does this button do? Okay, so that, that looks like this is an alt key. Or sorry, a control key. This is an alt key, which is supposed to be. So the original control key is right here. So I want to make... Or sorry, I want to make this command as well. So this was the command key. So we do... Uh, da, da. We want to copy the right command here. And then this should open. Nice. I don't actually use the left command at all. So um, I think everything that I, I have programmed is on the right. So uh, I think that's basically all I wanted to do. I don't think I remap anything other than the caps locks key on the other keyboard. And I don't like to overly um, overly modify the keyboard. But like we could we could change some stuff around. But that's basically all I wanted to do. So um, there you go. That's that's a kinesis. Um, welcome welcome to remapping. So uh, I I find the the onboard programming really nice. The only difference that I I noticed is that when you're in the remap mode on the old the kinesis two, it stays in the remap mode. Whereas in this one it switches. Uh, like once you once you remap a key it stops. So it's like remap key. Then you have to like initiate the remap again, remap key, hit the remap key again, do your remap. So that's a little interesting. It doesn't do the like blinking, slow blinking setup like the Kinesis did. The Advantage 2. Jeez, I keep saying Kinesis. They're both Kinesis. Um, I never ever use much of the macros. I don't know. Does anyone have suggestions for like macros that they're interested in because that would be again i don't really um i don't really do that much on these things like i don't want to i don't want to over um customize them on purpose okay so let's see the v drive thing too because that was something i wanted to check out so to there's a, a V drive key, which is right there. So if I do this and this, we should have the V drive pop up in theory. Looks like it's doing something. Uh, let me switch to the screen. Yes. Okay. So, uh, layouts, layout one. Okay. So down to up. Yes, um, we didn't touch any of the function things, but this is basically our our layout. So we could we could probably save this somewhere and then uh, like put it under source control or something. So if we break it, we we can keep it in a different place. Uh, but literally, this is all I do. So it's like not it's not that complicated to to set this thing up. I know uh, like Prime. Primogen was trying to work on this file when he he had the the Kinesis uh pre uh what was it called pre, I guess it's a pre-production model and I vaguely recall uh him having trouble with some of these but I also think that this is like a, a kind of a a wild uh programming language quote unquote uh that is although I th I think it might actually be that so but again, I don't I don't do that much customization, so I feel like I should just not worry about this too much. Uh, and I'm guessing I okay, and then it it disconnects, so we're we're pretty good there. I think um, also Primogen was working with the or he was using the uh, the bridge connector, and and I think he liked it. So I wonder if it's like set a little more widely to the advantage too or if it's like exactly the same width which is why uh people like that i'm not sure 
All right, so my guess is this thing clips like somewhere here. I don't know that it matters. Maybe there's a note in here. One second. Okay. Okay, so it says, uh, for those who want to recreate the classic separation of our original contoured keyboard, that's the bridge connector. Yeah, the bridge connector is not designed to support the weighted keyboard. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, but this might help with the, like, getting used to the keyboard. So I think we should maybe try this. So that's apparently the original separation, which kind of feels about right. Like, I'm still, like, if I, I'm kind of crammed up. So I actually... I changed my mind. I don't want to use this because I, I do want to turn the keyboard just a little bit uh, inward because that's just like how my wrists would sit more naturally. Like I, I'm definitely turned a little bit. I would like to sit maybe a little more like this. Just a, just a tiny, tiny bit. All right. So bridge connector, I think it's a no-go for me, but um, I could see why it would be nice in some situations, especially if you had like a really maybe a slippery desk where this thing was sliding around a lot. Uh, it probably would help, but I don't think I want to use it. An interesting story about this, because I would guess that I was one of the first people to purchase the kinesis 360 or the yeah the 360 uh and the reason for that is somebody at uh mass drop messed up the time zones for the drop and so the kinesis 360 was actually available before it was supposed to be available and uh i went on their website early because i was like setting up because i knew i was going to be in a meeting while it got dropped and i wanted to make sure i got it but it looked like i could buy it and so I tried, and there you go. I was able to buy it. Uh, I don't know if I should feel bad about that, um, but it's not my fault, and uh, I have the keyboard I wanted. So is that is that, like, bad? I don't know. I don't think it is. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm really excited about this keyboard. Uh, I think the tenting is going to make a, a huge difference for me personally uh, with my, my wrists. And uh, I'm excited to get the palm pads, actually, now that I'm thinking about it again, because uh, I feel like I'm going to set my wrists at, like, this angle, and uh, I'm going to set them down, and it's going to be bad. So the, the palm pads, if I set them down, it will force me to be a little higher up, and hopefully it makes me think about, like, not setting my hands down. So I think the palm pads will be nice. Uh, I liked having the palm pads on the advantage, but they were kind of gross. So if you had an advantage too, the palm pads were like soft. They were like a, a meshy material and they just abs like absorbed your skin, basically. I don't know how else to say it. It was disgusting. And so you would like try and you could clean them a little bit, but you could not get them like perfectly clean. Yeah, I'm often on a laptop. Oh, um, yeah, so, okay, so I should mention, I don't, I don't know if this thing has a carrying case, but carrying around the Kinesis 2 is a huge pain. I can, I can say that for a fact. I've carried it to SF twice now, and it's a bit of a pain. Uh, this one doesn't have a carrying case, but I, that's probably good. I, I really don't have the keyboard much further apart than the, the bridge connector uh, let me. So, but it's like that extra little bit gives you nice little breathing room. It feels good. Okay, cool. Man, look at these. Look at these screenshots. They're really pretty. It is that pretty in 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 here. So, pretty excited about it.